The primary money-making business niches for Isuzu are production, marketing and sale of commercial vehicles and diesel engines. However, this Japanese manufacturer also has divisions that work directly for the end consumer and create proven passenger and small business vehicles. In this episode, we'll give you a brief rundown of the new Isuzu's for the upcoming model year. So, subscribe to Automotive Territory Daily News and you will never miss new car releases. Let's start the engines! Isuzu D-MAX The class of mid-size pickups beware, because one of the market's most affordable offerings has gone through a full redesign. After a break away from the partnership with GM, the D-MAX is no longer built over the Chevrolet Colorado platform. Instead, it gets the in-house developed underpinnings with 20% more rigidity, generous steel underbody protection, weighting depth of up to 800 mm, and rear differential, which is stuck on all of the 4x4 models. The newcomer gets a modern front fascia with U-shaped LED headlights and an aggressive grill. Isuzu's 3.5-liter four-cylinder turbo diesel is good for 190 horsepower and 331 pound-feet of torque, which converts to 3.5 tons of towing capacity. The level of truck's convenience is enhanced with a remote start, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto-compatible 7-inch infotainment, reversing camera, and Isuzu's intelligent driver assistance with automatic emergency braking, automatic headlights, and driver attention alert. Isuzu MUX Produced since 2013, the MUX, aka Makes You Exciting SUV, enters a new generation this year and sits on a new, Isuzu symmetric mobility platform. From the outside, the midsize adopts slimmer LED headlights, a new taillight design, and different style 18 inch alloys. But it keeps its signature chrome grille that is positioned higher than before. All of the entry models come powered by the unchanged 1.9 liter turbo diesel paired to the 6-speed manual or automatic gearbox, both sourced from Ison. The higher-spec SUVs get a 3-liter turbo diesel that is now boosted to 190 horses. As usual, Isuzu's shift on the fly 4-wheel drive system remains an offer. The cabin of the model continues to accommodate 7 people and offers more safety and comfort features, like automatic emergency braking, remote engine start, reclining third row of seats, and a 9-inch infotainment with Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. Smash the like button to keep the flow of new videos coming. Thanks for your support and let's keep going! Mazda B50 This truck is a rebodied alternative to the D-MAX for those drivers who cherish Mazda's latest code of design language and are ready to pay premium for the certain interior refinements. You might not be aware of this, but Mazda has been an active player on the pickup market since 2006, when its BT50 truck started production as a rebatched version of the Ford Ranger. In 2021, however, the model enters its third generation and arrives fully re-engineered, riding on the Isuzu chassis. The pickup becomes a little smaller across all dimensions, but still belongs to the midsize segment with single, double and space gap variants. A new 3-liter turbo diesel with 332 pound-feet of torque can be paired with a 6-speed manual transmission and a 4x4, or a 6-speed automatic with 2-wheel drive or 4-wheel drive. The BT50's class-leading interior is wrapped in brown leather, 7 or 9-inch screen has Android Auto and wireless CarPlay, the sound system immerses you with an 8-speaker surround, and your safety is ensured by 20 advanced technologies. Isuzu F-Series Isuzu has been partnering with Cummins since 2019, so this year, as a part of this cooperation, the North American version of the F-Series medium-duty truck will arrive with a B 6.7-liter Cummins diesel. The mill is made to a 6-speed automatic Allison RDS gearbox and is rated at 260 horses and 660 pound-feet of torque. The truck gets two modifications, both featuring a low-cap forward design. The FTR is a Class 6 model with a mass cross vehicle weight of 25,950 pounds, while the FVR belongs to the Class 7 and is good for 33,000 tops. 
Between the two, there are eight wheelbase lengths on offer. Additionally, all 2022 F-Series models come equipped with more capable LED headlights and feature new interior design trims that both look more appealing and feel comfier. Isuzu Grand Toro and Kendo The last Isuzus for today are comfortable coach buses that can carry 43 and 64 passengers. Both embrace the new design language, which is digital, so it gets black contoured face with split design headlights and dynamic signal lamps. The Gran Toro is an 8.5 meters medium size for short and medium haul journeys, and it is motivated by a 4.5 liter Cummins turbo diesel four cylinder with 210 horsepower and 850 newton meters of torque. In turn, the Kanto is a 13 meter service school and short distance intercity transportation vehicle powered by an 8.9 liter CNG turbo six cylinder. Both models are Euro 6 compliant, yet air suspension, full air brake system, and new dashboards with a revised 2X design. What do you think of the new Isuzu vehicles? Would you like them to expand the lineup and add more passenger models? Let's discuss these matters in the comment section below. Smash the like button if you haven't already, subscribe to Automotive Territory Daily News and continue watching more episodes by following the links on the screen. Come back shortly!